Greetings and salutations. My name is Mystery, and we have finally, finally made it to Glitter Delve. So now we are going to descend into the mines. And we picked up a new companion, this little this little dude right here. Glee Glorn. Glowern. Ah, whatever. Uh, he's got quite the accent. Uh, we are actually headed into the mines to rescue his brother, Torg. So, let's go on in. Not that I relish being underground yet again. But at least it's like a different view. So, yes. And we're back to killing Krug. So, at least it's an enemy we are familiar with. Uh, everybody just hanging out up there, I guess. Bye, puppy! So nice to hear their guttural voices yet again. Easy peasy. Hmm. Now we have, um, we now have three melee and two archers and a healer and two donkeys. So that's kind of nice. Our group is coming together quite well. I think we have the maximum amount of beings <laughs> that we are allowed to have in the group. Make sure there are no treasure chests or something over here. If uh, we come across another person, we may have to give up one of our donkeys. We don't want to do that, do we? I know I don't. Silverhoof and Flare have been very good companions for us. Ooh, hello rats. Giant rats. Yes, they are pretty. <gasps> Nadini, uh, Naidi has uh, increased in intelligence. Yes, they are giant rats. These rats are. They're kind of stripey, they're interesting. I don't really see much problem early on in this dungeon because none of this stuff is really that hard, except for Eulora is going to be like my heart attack over here. She's gonna give me a heart failure. She's always the one that seems to have the issues. Alrighty. Oh, there's one down here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. The only way I see us really having a problem is if we get um, mobbed. So early on, this shouldn't be too, too hard. I'm sure as we get down into the mines, we will find some interesting new beings to fight. It does sound like a dang, drippy, old cave. Good job. Ooh, we got a monstrous rat. That's interesting. Oh, no more. Okay, 
it really wasn't that difficult. This one looks like a mana one. Oh, neat. Is there anything in here? Okay. That was anticlimactic. Like I said, I'm not really expecting very much of a challenge at first, but seeing something a little different, like the rats, is definitely fun. And at least it's a different sort of uh, scenery. I like that too. I was so tired of Western Cross. I'm sure all of you were too, because that was a really long, long area to be hanging out in. Ooh, I increased in dexterity. I am better at the bow. Well, no, not necessarily better at the bow, but I have more dexterity. I can bob and weave better. Ooh. I like the explosions. I like when things blow up. Nothing in here. Alright. Hello, puppy. Bad doggy. Alright. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Oh, and he went down just like that. I I think it was an earth elemental, but I didn't even have a chance to really look. We blew him up. You go boom. And big freaking chest. Nothing in it. I so dislike that. You know what I like about the mines? No spider sounds. Love the fact that there are no spider sounds. None of the creepy, crawly. Oh. Oh, hey. All right, y'all get them first. You're doing a wonderful job there, Zed. Good job, group. Boy, our added melee, he is doing wonderfully. We've not had to pay special attention to him. Nothing, so that's good. Sometimes when you get a new member in the group, they just don't work out as well. Gjorn increased in strength. Wonderful. I'm hoping to see a lot of increases while we're down in here. And hopefully this one will not be as long as the last area. Just get in there, you guys. That'll take care of everything. There we go. There we go. Yep. Oh. Oh, we got this. We got this. Not a problem. Uh, blow this up. See what's in there. I should have just done that and got rid of all those people. Anyway. It's okay. Ooh. Why is this area like a blue cast? That is... That's interesting. Oh! <gasps> Scorpions! Somehow, not as creepy as spiders, go figure. Not as creepy. I still don't like that real screechy sound, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, there's my dog talking. The neighbors are having some work done on their house, so... You will hear my dogs in the background on occasion. I do apologize. You know, sh they're like protecting us from the big bad workmen. Plus, if anybody so much as walks past our house, oh, forget about it. My one dog's all over that. 
Uh, okay, I picked up something over there that didn't show up. All right. Eight donkeys. And blow that up. Another blue area. Put the scorpions. Wow, they are so not really that difficult. I don't mind killing them. I'm hoping we'll get some grand new armor for everyone. Obviously, increasing some skills would be nice. That would be wonderful. I don't think there's anything back there. Maybe. Oh, maybe there is. Oh, no, there's not. Alright. That was very deceiving. Some more rats. I feel like I missed something because there was another section that maybe we should have done first. Ooh, a ring! Oh, Kirk. Oh, you stay away from the donkey. Oh, that was easy. You know, I keep feeling like <laughs> we're gonna be challenged here. Not really so much right yet. I'm, I'm sure we'll get to it. Let's go backtrack a little bit first. Because um, I think this is going to continue on and on into the mines. But like I said, I feel like... Like we missed a turn. An area that was maybe going to be... A dead end that we could have covered first. Maybe not. Let's see. Ah, this may be it. Because we didn't explore in here, and I don't know if this is a single room by itself. It is kind of a maze of the mines down here, so. Hey, where are you guys going? Go over here and get this guy. I've seen a lot of blue items drop, which is going to be wonderful. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be wonderful. What are we picking up all over the place? Jeez. Alright, we'll just kind of make our, our rounds of the room. Yeah, this looks like it's a single room by itself. Oh, you did not throw that rock at me. Apparently you did. Alright. Loot up. And I will eventually figure out how to say the dwarf's name. It'll take a minute because um, their language is kind of guttural. Very strong. I don't want to say it's a Scottish accent. It's a very strong something. Very strong dwarven accent. Alright, I think that was it for this room. So we'll continue on our way. We already killed all that. And we're in here now. We already did that area. Okay, moving on. Did these rooms. Oh, well, we had to backtrack a little bit, didn't we? Alright, here we go. A lot of resurrection spells, which we don't need. Because Zed already knows how to do that. Oh! <gasps> 
80. Oh, she advanced in strength and in bow. Awesome. You go, girl. Yeah, somebody go for that. Whatever. They just, they'd be taking care of business right now. Alright, where do we, oh, okay, that's a dead end. What was that sound? All right. Okay. There are elevators. Oh, over here. Over here, over here. Let's see what... It's a dank, dark hole. Oh, there is something big down there. I think we're gonna... Hold off on that for a moment. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna stop here and I will go through all their sorry again my dogs. Uh, I'll go through all of their equipment make sure everybody's all up to date and then we'll continue in the next video and we will go kill that elemental that apparently is down down the elevator lift. So until next time just remember the world is a mystery if you don't explore it. We'll see you next time. And here she is, the one that barked through all my video. This is Lily. This is my short-haired miniature dachshund and the love of my life. Ha, you love the world. She's very protective of our house. Yeah, you bark at those construction workers? Yeah, at the neighbor's house? Okay, you good girl. All right, so we're gonna go. We'll see you guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. We love to see the comments below. See you guys.